Well, earlier this year, Mr. Robert Plant released a solo album, Fate of Nations, which was absolutely brilliant. We caught up with him to talk about it. Be prepared for the unexpected now. This is Rock Block. <laughs> Francisco, 67. Hellfire. One hand clapping. <laughs> I was once told by a heavy metal singer that Led Zeppelin got all their influences by going on holiday to Portugal. Because there you can turn the radio on and hear this woman singing from a long, long way away. Who is this woman? This is Um Kaltum. She's no longer with us. Sadly. But she was the, she's called the Lady of Arabia. Right. And other ladies of Arabia are... Um, <laughs> Phil Johnston is a really big lady of Arabia. Do we remember yeah. Phil? Yeah. Uh -huh. Francis Dunnery, the owl hurler from Cumbria. <laughs> Kevin Scott McMichael, the last hippie from... Uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, yeah. <laughs> but the only one. <laughs> Over here, Charlie Jones, who will behave. <laughs> Sometimes. And, and Michael Lee, who got away from the cult without too many bruises. <laughs> And but is this the band that's going on the road with you? Or is this is just kind of a, re a rehearsal tonight, is it? A warm-up kind of gig that we've yeah. gate-crashed and we seem to have? Well, that's a very professional way of saying this is promotion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just gate-crashed this secret gig that I've been telling everybody about oh, all day. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, we played here last week as well. Yeah. And so, th I mean, um, we were talking about this is the album band. No no yeah. change for the, for the road. No, no, this is it. And Nigel Kennedy going on the road with you at all? I see he's been floating around here. Yeah, I think what well, he will do, but <coughs> unfortunately he's decided to have his own career as well. <laughs> it's in the way of our progress. So you're, yeah. doing, um, you're doing support slots, which I thought was rather unusual for people like Lenny Kravitz, I mean Neil Young. I sort of understand you being with Neil Young, but the idea of support slots sort of sits a little... Is it, is it uncomfortable? No, not at all. I mean, what do you want to do? You know, you can't go out and play to that many people headlining. You know, we don't really have a fantastic track record in Austria. I think I sold eight records there on the last record. <laughs> well then. So yeah, that's a quite a... No, we sold one in Peru, didn't we, remember? We certainly did. We called an album in South America, One in Peru. So Good Lord, I used to spend more money in Peru by staying here and just shipping it in. <laughs> <laughs> so have you chosen your support slots kind of carefully, or has it just been like... No, we beg. <laughs> um, I beg, I've been grovelling. Paid a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Lenny's cool, you know. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's got a certain shape that's happening right now and it's yeah. the kind of shape that I was into when I was a kid. But he sort of wears his sort of 60s hippie love or 70s hippie love thing really on his sleeve a lot. I mean do you think he's a pretender or is it all for real? Will you, you film her saying that please? I want you to film her saying that. Go Lenny, on. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want, you want. I want you to say that. You want, you want. It doesn't get washed. 
What doesn't he wear? That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> you, saw it on him, you saw it on MTV. <laughs> It'll go well with our dogs because we've got them all on ropes. That's right. Yeah. It'll be all right. I think it's a great. I think it's great. It's really good of him to have us on board because we are a fun-loving bunch of guys, and we hear that he is too. So I think we'll have a ball. Yeah. And um, we just saw. And we need you, Lenny. <laughs> we really need you too. Honest. We saw an acoustic version by a band, Moby Gray, who I know is close to your heart. And the only time I've ever heard of this band is on a, a reproduction of a poster that they did, some gig they did in Monterey from the 1970s. Other than that, I've never heard of them. If they only did three gigs in the 70s. How yeah. did you get into them? Because I was around in the 60s. It was just a bit before. It was like, first turn on the left, uh, past 1970. The 90s are going to make the 60s look like the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a plot here. And... Um, like, they were one of the bands like Love and uh, Aeroplane and Big Brother. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I used to do the festivals with Janice. We used to drink vodka and orange and together. They're into owl throwing as well, aren't they? Owl but, but tawny owls and not barn owls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a crucial band, you know? And uh, they play under the name of. Um, do this go out in America? Could do. Could do? Yep. Could Kurt do. Loader, wherever you Where are. There you go. <laughs> You've got to express those. We too. love him too. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, they're called the Melvilles now, and they, they, uh, they come from Seattle. Yeah. And uh, they're great, they make beautiful music. So how do we get then from Moby Great to, we're going to play The Cure now, Lullaby, a song chosen by somebody. Oh, I think that's okay. from, okay. Yeah, there he is, that's from Moby. Now from Fat Phil to Fat Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect link. Robert Plant and Co providing the uh, the meat in tonight's Rock Block sandwich.